Welcome to Flight Simulator News for Sunday the 7th of February 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. This is a weekly news briefing for the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. In this weeks news ...the launch date for World Update 3 is released ...the target area for the next World Update is revealed ...a much requested feature for the sim is in prototyping and more. In the latest development update from Microsoft and Asobo posted this last week the team confirmed that the somewhat delayed World Update 3 covering England, Scotland and Wales is now scheduled to launch on the 11th of February. The incoming World Update contains 5 updated cities London, Cambridge, Oxford, Birmingham and Bristol ...nearly 80 points of interest Five new meticulously handcrafted airports, including Barra, Liverpool, Lands End, Manchester, Barton, and Outskerries, as well as visual and logic improvements to 85 more area airports, improved digital elevation data across the UK, and a trio of new activities for pilots to participate in. I was particularly pleased to see the airfield at Barra getting specific attention in the sim. It's one of the most interesting airports in the world to fly in and out of as its runway is situated on a stretch of beach and is only accessible at low tide. Last week the team also announced that the next world update coming to the sim will cover France, Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg and is currently scheduled to launch around the end of March. In a streamed developer Q&A at the end of January the team did confirm that a freeware area was coming to the in-game store and that's being developed at the moment and they have also confirmed that the much requested replay feature that has been a part of every edition of Flight Simulator as far back as I can remember so about 1982 is being prototyped at the moment and will be coming to the sim at some point this year. As part of the development update on the 4th of February the Flight Simulator website released statistics on the numbers and types of third party add-ons available or in development. There are currently 594 products available in third party stores or via the InSim store itself. There are a further 249 announced or unannounced products from third parties under development. That's a staggering 843 third party products for Microsoft Flight Simulator that are either available now or under development. That's it for this update. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video remember to hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell icon to ensure you don't miss out on any of our future updates. Fly safe and we'll see you next time.